Our Bond alumni are working in more than 120 countries around the world. And right now, we're about to chat to one all the way over in Seattle. Now, Shane Cooper studied a Bachelor of Laws at Bond before working in a top-tier firm and then making the move into the corporate world, first at Telstra and now at Amazon in the US. Wow, that's incredible. Welcome, Shane. How are you today? How are you doing? Hi, hey, man. great. How's Seattle? I mean, it's great. It's summertime over here. So uh, I've got to say, I'm really enjoying, I'm enjoying the summer weather. So I sort of associate Seattle with a lot of beautiful nature. Is that sort of what I'm seeing in the background as well? Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah, look, for those who don't know where Seattle is, it's about 100 miles uh, away from the Canadian border. It's about a two hour flight from uh, California. And it looks over Mount Rainier, which is this beautiful national park, which I try to go hiking on most weekends. And your career has literally taken you all around the world. Can you give us a li little snapshot of your career since graduating Bond? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting looking back. Um, I was fortunate enough to um, start my career at a large com commercial firm called Chambers Westgarth. I did a couple of rotations, which most junior lawyers do. Uh, and then I decided to move in-house. I worked at a resourcing company for a few years, and then I moved into Telstra uh, as an in-house legal counsel, and uh, most recently made the, uh, the jump across the pond over to the US, and I'm, and I'm based stateside. So for people like me who need a little bit more help, what's the difference between the top-tier firm and the in-house counsel? Yeah, it's a really great question. I get asked um, by loads of mentees that same question all the time. Um, in-house, you have the same clients all the time and you understand a lot about what's going on in the business. So a lot of the meetings I go along to are business meetings, not necessarily meetings where they're asking me for my legal advice. Um, so you really partner with the business. You understand what the business is trying to achieve and find ways commercially for them to achieve their business goals whilst reducing their legal risk. And if you kind of pair that with working as a, uh, a lawyer in a large commercial firm, often your clients aren't people that work for the business, but they are other lawyers. Uh, and it might be that they um, you work, focus on one area of law, but focus on it for many different clients. Whereas if you think in-house, you focus on loads of different areas of law, but for the same type of client. Oh, so fascinating. Uh, do you have any advice to go along with that explanation? Oh, I mean, my advice to students would be to try, when, particularly when you're starting out and you're either at law school or when you start out in your career, is to keep an open mind to things that spark your interest. So that's one piece of advice. So if you're studying something or you're working on a matter as a junior lawyer, keep an eye out for those things that you think, oh, this is interesting, I, I want to know more. That might be where your career takes you. Um, I would also say, think about where you want your career to go. Um, it's perhaps less likely that you can work overseas if you go in house, uh, if you're uh, in private practice, maybe more opportunity in particular areas as an in-house lawyer. So think about where do you want your career to go and, and what interests you have today. That's just so incredible. And just lastly, what do you think made you really stand out as a Bond graduate when trying to secure the dream roles that you've had so far? Um, there's a couple of things I would say. One is um, being true to yourself and being OK with not trying to be a cookie cutter of, every, of everybody else. Um, something else that can help you stand out is kindness. I know that sounds really bizarre, but if you have an opportunity to um, focus on, you know, be kind to someone else that's in the, the profession, be they more senior than you or more junior or a peer, I think that, that goes a long way for your reputation within the industry. Um, so be true to yourself, be who you are and, uh, and, and be kind along the way. Well, what comes around goes around. I couldn't agree more. Well, thank you so much, Shane, and enjoy beautiful Seattle. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.